Hey, Ma, can we go see the pyramids in Egypt? No, we have pyramids at home. Pyramids <laughs> at home. <laughs> Well then. When the battle has made you weary, come see me again. I will give you many kisses. Should you bring may... red Shalka? <laughs> God damn it! Why? Oh, my... oh, this owl annoys me. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Don't, don't jump Ouch. off. Ouch. No. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to roll afterwards. Jared, um, I didn't mean me. I meant Link oh, thinking like he regrets his choices. <laughs> Golden will travel down Mount whatever the fuck as he takes a bunch of flaming rocks. <laughs> Wait, I'm supposed to ride him? What? <laughs> Giddy up, partner. Yeehaw! Well, it's Hi. too late now. Okay. I'm gonna take my horse to the old town road. I'm going ride till I can't no more. more. Riza, what are you doing? Oh, you can hear that? Yes! That's why I said I'm gonna be building shit and mute your mic. No, I'm not building, I'm mobbing. Well, <laughs> it's just, it's just a little thousand questions just pop up. Dude went from building a vacuum cleaner to mopping his floor. I mean, you know well, that. That's what I used to do on the stream. Let's ask that. You didn't say anything about mopping. <laughs> If please, you're doing you things there. that make noise that we can hear, please mute your mic so they don't. <laughs> Do you know what I saw at Walmart today? What? I see a Walmart kitty. I saw spicy uh, peeps, like spicy peeps, like they were like hot tamale flavored. And I also saw Dr Pepper peeps. For Ew. Ouch! Ew to one, and ouch to the other. <laughs> Huh. My head is too hurty for to comprehend what you just said to me. <laughs> I don't know how it would taste, but I never was a Peeps fan. Neither I'll take them as a plush, but I would never eat them as a candy. They look just disgusting. I, I just never candy. liked Peeps. It just... Hey, I'll be right back. What, okay. dear? I actually have a giant Peep in my room. Like a giant stuffed Peep. Okay. It's like I think it's like a foot tall, I think. I'm actually just gonna lay here and watch Golden get juggled by these spiders. Shit. Yep. Nope. Yep. Yep, third time's the charm. Yep. Uh huh. <laughs> okay, how am I. S oh. I can climb yeah, that? Slingshot. I don't think you can get that yet, though. What do you mean? I just got it. Oh, you can climb the wall? I didn't know that. Yeah, that's what I was just talking about. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> that doesn't look like a wall you can climb. You just turned into Spider-Man. Yeah, Spider exactly. I'm like, how the fuck is I supposed to know? <laughs> you just gain Spider-Man's power to start climbing randomly along, along the wall. Gets a fucking call from Tom Holland. <laughs> He's like, Link, you have something that you've stolen from me. Like, oh, shit. <laughs> like, give me back my powers. You can't have my Spider-Man powers. Wait, has it yeah. been announced recently that Tom Holland retired from playing Spider-Man? They're I, making a Spider-Man four though. I don't. Think I don't know if Tom Holland, Holland is going to be in it, but they are making a Spider-Man four. Um, Tom Holland's not going to be in it, is what I heard. Well, now I'm sad. That's so. Matt makes me actually really sad. Yeah, he was the best iteration of Spider-Man. Yeah. But he he matched up to all of the cool parts of Spider-Man, and like they didn't even have to constantly torture him and give him shitty luck just because, which. They they changed now because they took all of his shit away because I don't know like, some hardcore comic fans got like, mad about I it. I haven't seen the actual Spider-Man movies from the MCU, but I have seen his appearance in like some of the Avenger movies and such, and it's already yeah. impressed me with how much of a personality he represents. Yeah, he's yeah. a really good. He's like Logic. a really good Spider-Man. Yeah. Andrew a Andrew Goofus Andrew Garfunkel I, Andrew, Garfield. What about him? Uh, uh, Garfield, yeah, that's. <laughs> Oh, Andrew, be amazing Andrew Lasagna Garfield. <laughs> Andrew Lasagna Garfield is his legal name, and you will put some respect on it. Okay. Is that who? Is that the <laughs> Spider Man? Yeah, that was one Andrew... of the actors who played Spider Man. Okay, so they're not getting rid of 
they're not getting rid of uh, Tom Holland. They're just doing the Sony version of Spider Man, like the Amazing Spider Man. Mm. I'm gonna make a poll. I'm gonna ask the chat. No, Cobalt. That's I'm... nothing compared to the name Michael. Michael is such a common name. It's like, oh dear God, it's scary. Okay. What do you think the most com well, the most common name is John, let's be real. Yeah, we always remember th Well, John is just an easy name to remember. <laughs> like John is such a common name that when you can't identify a man, you just call them John. <laughs> John so, Doe. Yeah, I was about to say, isn't that why we have John Doe's? Yeah. John Jangle Heimer I Schmidt. If, <laughs> I wonder if someone ever gives their name as John, they have to clarify that they're not an amnesiac or something. <laughs> and the name was actually John. Cause I'm throwing poop in their cage. That's out of context. Birds. My grandpa's name is John. So is my uncle. I'm a wake already, and my little brother's nickname is no, John. I'll be if it ain't the forest kid from the other day. By the way, thanks a lot for waking me up. It took some doing, but I finally got Malin back in a good mood. So, what are you up to today? Got some free time on your hands, you say? Well, how about a little game? These three Why Kukos... Why does that kind of <laughs> If you pick out these three special birds... Within the time, that give you something good. Sure. If you can't find them, I win. Alright, fine. <laughs> Yeah, no, seriously, why does this guy kind of look like Mario, though? <laughs> He's Mario, but retired. How are you supposed to tell the difference between all these? So, how do you know which one is the special one? Yeah, exactly. How do you know? They all look the same. I Well, he also, he tosses out three, and you just, it's very difficult to keep track. So, you have to have, like, a good eye. Right now, I just have to randomly guess. We're just eating the chickens all over the place. All right. That's <laughs> okay. It's a normal, common practice amongst farmers. <laughs> just Damn grab it. a chicken and throw it until you find the right one. <laughs> Chat, Golden has to find his... Uh... Oh, my God. He just won't grab. Grab it. I mean, I eat my cocks every day. I was going to make the joke and that Golden is trying to find his uh, C word. but uh... Really, dude? <laughs> <All right>. Yeah. <laughs> He found. He found it. He wins. All right, you have thirty seconds. Okay. Wait, did you win the game? No, I didn't. No. I... <laughs> <laughs> is there like so... a time limit or no? Yes, there yes, is. Yes, that is. Oh, okay. So I have a weird question for all of you, if you don't mind answering. Mm -hmm. Okay. What? Um. So, how do you do two-step authentication when it comes to making Discord on on a new cell phone? Because I've been having a hard Grab time it. getting into my Discord. I don't um, know. My Discord has been glitching uh, a little bit, but it was glitching this morning. I just closed the app and then I opened it again, and it was fine. Well, I can't log in from my phone. And like when I do, they're like, "Oh, two-step authentication." And when I go to the okay. authentication um, numbers and I put it in, they're like, "I'm sorry, that's not the right answer." And I'm like, what? <laughs> what, "Who the fuck is on the other end, Goofy?" <laughs> I was just like, I, well, "That's just me, like trying to like." They're just like, "I'm sorry, it's not the right answer." Oh, well, I don't know. It was really weird, man. Like oh shucks, it looks like you entered in the wrong code. I'm like, what That's the literally fuck? the equivalent of like when you type in like 20 different passwords and you go to reset your password and it says your password can't be current password. Damn it! Mm. Alright, it looks like Tom Holland wins. I'm not surprised. Tom Holland's the best Spider-Man. Yeah. Yes, we I had am. one vote for um another Spider-Man who I... Toby McGuire? I think it was Toby, yeah. Yeah. This so guy. In, oh, sorry. My opinion about that. I think Andrew Garfield's the best Spider-Man. I think Toby's the best Peter Parker. But I think Tom Holland hits both of them very well. I think that's what a lot of people said. I mean, it's, it's just fact. Like, I didn't. Toby McGuire's Spider-Man was kind of dog shit. And uh, 
Andrew okay, Garfield's that's... Peter Parker. And Andrew Garfield's Peter Parker was too much like a Spider Man. And so, some like, of my, some of my favorite Tobey Maguire Spider Man moments are when he jumps off the roof and then he breaks his back in half. Grab him! Walk all the oh my god. <laughs> He has to oh. walk all the way home being like, my back, oh, my back. But before <laughs> he says that, he's like, I'm back. So it transitions from I'm back to my back. <laughs> <laughs> I just think of my butt, my back, my pussy, and my crap. <laughs> <laughs> Golden, you still out here grabbing chickens? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, chickens are very lovely little creatures. They just want to get just... snug. Uh, not always. They, they're sometimes scary. Oh, oh yeah, God. I can tell you that from experience. Yeah, chickens oh. descended from dinosaurs, so they'll they'll mess you up. I'm just saying that from like experience with like just other birds, like ducks. Because my mom has ducks, and oh my gosh, the Damn ducks it. are rude and mean, and they bite. I want. Or, like, you know what you could do? Uh, you could uh, geese also like evolved from dinosaurs. That's why they're so freaking. Ah, uh, okay. And that's when you s didn't all birds yeah. kind of evolve from dinosaurs? Yes, all birds are scary. Logic. And that's when you establish dominance and grab it by his neck. Mm -hmm. If you grab a goose by its see, neck, the fucking. Rise. I want to see Ryza try that now. Just so you see him get the shit kicked out of him by. No, that, that's what you're supposed to do. And there's like geese, you're supposed to grab by his neck and the body goes limp. Ah. No, in, in most states, if you grab a goose by its neck, the freaking Canadian Mounties will come down and be like, hey, don't do that. I'm, I'm a sorry, fuck the up Canadian the Mounties. They ride out all the way to Georgia and Texas. The Canadian, the Canadian Mounties will come down off the mountain and be like, hey, you can't do that. I'm a fuck it up. Listen, they're like my next door neighbors. I am two hours away from them. I'm just, I'm just saying, like, like there, are, there are laws in place to protect goose and geese and all other animals. Goose and geese Wolf and geese. Jedi, I, please don't ever reference that. Wolf, I have a literal, I have a state in, I have a law in my state that protects whales. Oh, yeah, let's not mention that movie, please. There, there's a, a law, I forget where it is, but if you kill, like, a, a monarch butterfly, you get, like, fined. I thought you were gonna say you get like five years in prison. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> you five years in prison for killing a butterfly. There's, um, I'm there's also another interesting law. Okay, I can't Ron. remember if it's in the Phil and on the Philippines, if it's in Switzerland or in the Netherlands. But if mm -hmm. you have, if you buy one guinea pig and you don't get a friend, you get fined. You you law buying have to get two. Where is I, that? I, I don't I Where's don't what? believe you. I don't believe what you're saying. Drog, that's on. putting it lightly. Oh, there is a country, yeah. If you buy a guinea pig, you legally have to buy two because they're social animals and they get sad and depressed if there's only one. I don't know which one it is, but don't you get fine if you don't get a second piggy? No. Yeah. It's a real thing. Uh, in Tennessee, it's, e it's legal to harpoon a whale outside of the car. That makes no sense. Oh, so I, I, heard, I heard about that law, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's illegal up here in New York for you to have ice cream in your pocket, I think, on a Sunday. What? Wait, mm -hmm. what kind of ice cream? Like, ice cream on Just a cone? Because that's, like, no that's literally impossible. There's no specific ice cream. It's Just, Just you in can't general. Have... Yeah, it's illegal to have ice cream in your pocket on or a Sunday. Or the right rear pocket. And it's... Got it! Oh, I Finally. found it here! Oh, well, I think it's fucking... In I'll never mind. I might be wrong. Royal <laughs> Paladin. That's not. That, no, it's. That's not the. That movie is not the reason why I hate chickens. I hate that movie for a platitude of other reasons, but that's not one of them. Uh, chicken oh, we're Little. We talking about. We're talking about Chicken Little again. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, I, well hello. there are a multitude of reasons to hate Chicken Little, but the general consensus is always going to be Buck. Um, chicken Little's dad. Chicken Little's mm. dad is not even the issue. The movie was made for the wrong reasons. It was the movie to cap off an N2D animation, which was getting rid of the heart of Disney, and the movie has literally no story. The first half, well, Chicken gets his reputation ruined, tries a baseball game, gets it back. Oh, all of a sudden, aliens are coming in, then he loses his reputation again. So that first half is completely useless, and the writers are just making shit up along the way. There was no <laughs> effort at all. I mean, I 
I know that there's a, that's one of the reasons. I just mentioned that another reason was because of Chicken Little's dad. That's like he's one of the most di disliked fathers in tele in pretty much all media. Which is saying a lot because you have a lot of shitty fathers, but he's up there and he only has one movie. Golden has some opinions about Chicken Little chat. <laughs> he does. Newcomers in chat, no. I should say. You know something's wrong when Vegeta is a better father to his son than Buck Cluck is. You know, the funny thing is, and, you know, he has his opinion and everything. Sketch of the Changeling said that Mr. Incredible was a worse father than Bullshit! Yeah, because apparently uh, Mr. Incredible was, like, dismissing his family to go do his own, like... That's not stoic. the reason! <laughs> like, okay, look, let me, let me pretty much point out the, the argument about that. Many people, like... like Sketchy says that the reason that Mr. that Mr. Incredible is being dismissive of his family, he's not. He it's made clear in the scenes that he loves his family. The thing that he is missing is the feeling of being a hero. That's the entire freaking point of the movie. He misses being a hero because it pretty much was taken from him. That's why he decides to do the whole mission with Mirage, because it makes him feel important again. It makes him feel, in as as he says near the end of the movie, stronger. Because he feels like he's finally important again. Instead of just does... being forgotten. Is this kind of like, 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 um... He does, he does have an invested interest in his children's life. He literally has an argument with his wife because... He, he's, yeah. How Dash wants to try out for sports, but like Dash isn't allowed to be a sporty person because he needs to hide the fact that he's really fast, and which sucks. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, like Bob, his freaking Bob doesn't like that Dash has to hide. And yeah, because he yeah. wants his son to be, he wants his son to you know be himself, to be special. Whereas his wife doesn't want that, and not, and that doesn't make Mrs. Incredible bad. It's just that she doesn't want their secret to be exposed. That's yeah. why she pretty much tells Dash that she doesn't want him to join there the. Is um... One thing there, though. Mm -hmm. Like, what happens if you find out someone has superpowers? What the uh, fuck I... do you do? What, like, what the fuck are you gonna do to them? You're gonna freak out I... the public. Well, no, like it's also why. Way... It's also why it confused me when Disney made Hercules the guy no one liked. Because I'm going to be honest with you, knowing Hercules and the fact that Hercules is impossibly strong, no one would ever treat him badly in their right mind, ever. But they treated him like a freak. <laughs> yes, but he can also knock down their entire village with a sneeze. You don't hit but... <laughs> someone like that. You shut up and stay out of their way. But no, no, no. Like, here's the problem. That's the thing. Hercules is not even a bully. Like he doesn't use his power from uh, in any malicious way. He was no, he, he was written really really as a clutch. Like, that's what it was. No, it's not about it's not about what he does. It's God damn it! What Fuck. The movie so good. <sighs> but the thing is, with, um, Hercules, or even just any, I, I guess even the Incredibles, there is three ways it could go. They can live in harmony, like best case scenario. Worst case scenario, the non-superhumans live in constant fear, or they live in ang anger and jealousy. And well, if I remember correctly, in the movie, and this is pretty much something that I've always found frustrating, but at the same time, go to the castle to and Watchmen get did. her din fire. What din fire? What? You didn't, didn't fire. Din fire yet? It didn't fire I'll yet. You. I'll show you so, my din fire. You gotta play the song <laughs> of the family. Riza? Riza? No. <laughs> no, but seriously, you didn't get the you wait, go and open your inventory. Let me see your inventory. Did you get the din fire yet or did you not get the din? Give me fire? a second, let me deal with these assholes first. Okay. Okay. Open your I'm gonna watch the stream. Open go to your thing. I... Uh no, you don't have the din fire yet. That's a problem. You got milk. He does have milk. He's, he's a commercial <laughs> from the 90s. Yeah, you need to din fire. Alright, so apparently it's a magic spell. Yeah. You gotta Can't get it from one of the fairies. You gotta go find this, uh, Miss Fairy Thotty Body. Yeah, go find Miss Magical Pointy Tits and play the song and she'll give you the din fire. 
pointy tits, <laughs> pointy hips, pointy ass. She's very pointy. Guys, pointy. Have a bone to pick with you. They're fucking obnoxious.